Hello, I'm Dennis, the staff front-end engineer on Create Editor team. And today I would like to talk to you about Markdown Preview, the feature that we have in our editors uh, across GitLab product. I mean, single file editor experience in web uh, ID. So let's take a look at it. Historically, uh, when we were editing the file, Markdown files, we have uh, this preview button that click, clicking which brings us the preview of the file we are editing uh, at the moment. So far, so good. The problem is that it also implies the context switching. You either edit or you preview, never together. Never up until now. In 14.2, we introduced the live preview of the markdown files and how does it work? So let's assume we are in the um, single file editor. We are editing a markdown file. So by right clicking in the editor, we get this preview markdown option. Or if you're a keyboard um, user, um, advanced keyboard user, you can use Shift Command P or Shift Control P on Windows machines. It will half the width of the editor and will show you the live preview of the file you're editing at the moment. <clears throat> Let's see whether it works. And with some delay, just because my machine is doing hard work recording this video, you will see the content being updated here. And it's, um, it's working very easy. <clears throat> it also supports uh, the GitLab flavored markup that we have in other fields. There is one uh, issue, it won't show you this um, uh, pop-up where you can select the select a suitable icon as we have it in the notes or description but that might be the next feature of the source editor who knows anyway this is how <clears throat> the markup works here you can close the mark the preview you can open the preview and it's it's here uh, how does it work in um, web id exactly the same so we are opening the markdown file Take some time. We can we can click Command Shift P for Mac users, and here we go. The preview gets updated nearly right away. Again, it takes some time because of my machine is very slow now, but that's how it works. It also works. Does an interesting thing. Uh, it. It is pretty flexible. So let's assume while working with the markdown file, you suddenly realize, oh, it should be the TXT file. And here we go, it's gone. The preview is gone, the high syntax highlighting is, go is gone, and the, menu, the context menu item is gone. So you won't be able to switch the live preview for your text files. If you switch back to the markdown file, here we go, we are back to normal. Might be not very convenient, not, not very useful when you already have a file, but where it, this feature shines is actually when you create a new file. When we create a new file, we don't know whether it's going to be the markdown or any uh, other type of the files. So naturally, this is the plain source editor uh, that has no markdown extension um, enabled. So if we, for example, call it txt, foo.txt, still won't show anything here. But if we start adding the markdown uh, mark markup and rename the file to markdown, we get the syntax highlighting, but we also get the uh, preview feature. And this is very convenient when you create the new files because historically, when you were creating the files, as you can, um, I'm sorry, <clears throat> as you can see, there is no preview button, so you cannot preview the files that are new, even though they are markdown files. Now, this problem is solved. So that's that was about live preview. If you will find any bug or anything, it's just the matter of creating an issue. Thank you very much.